Welcome to the Advanced Test Frame Analysis G103 video series. My name is Matt, and I'll be taking you through this course. Within this G103 training course, we're going to be outlining a number of goals that we hope to achieve throughout this course. First of all, we want to, in general, expand your knowledge of S-Frame. I'm assuming by now you've probably got some experience with the software, whether through work experience or other training courses, and this is a good second step. We hope that we'll be able to build on your skills that you gained throughout the introduction to S-Frame G101 online training. I introduce you to how you can define more complex geometry than what we would have done through some of the earlier training course videos. And also look at some more advanced analysis types. Throughout the G101 course, we were really focusing on just linear static analysis, and we're going to actually expand that into other types of analysis. And of course, it's great that you know how all these tools will work, but if you don't know where to look for help, if you encounter any issues, it won't be really that successful. So we want to make sure that you know where to look for help should any need arise. Now we're going to be covering a number of different topics. Uh, we'll start with complex geometry, and underneath that there's a lot of other topics we'll be discussing. An introduction to 2D objects and meshing. Geometry tips, tricks, and tools. Then we'll move on to analysis, so starting with moving load analysis, P-delta and nonlinear analysis, vibration analysis, and then finally, once we've done all the modeling and analysis, how can we actually present this information to somebody else that might want to access it? And that can be done by generating reports. So we're going to be covering this throughout the video series, and we look forward to helping you reach your goals.